I think I'm going to play a little devil's advocate here, especially with this story. I'm going to make you think. I know it's hard for a lot of us to think about stuff because we have so many biases. It's unreal. We want to love clubs. We want to defend clubs. But do we do that when it's wrong? And what do I mean by wrong? The story we got coming up, we covered when it first broke. It was big news. And that's when 15 uh, people from the Grim Reapers, or associates too, you never know with the media, got busted for a pretty big meth ring. It was big. They were making some money out there. Now, you have to say to yourself, and again, I'm playing devil's advocate here, that if you have this kind of activity going on, is it a club still? Because isn't it the club's responsibility to police itself so this kind of stuff doesn't happen? Now, in these times, a lot of bad stuff's happening on the street as regarding drugs. We're talking meth is out there. It's one of the most used drugs in the country. What's even worse is the overdoses that come with it, especially when it's mixed with fentanyl. Us bikers are fathers, grandfathers, mothers, sisters, brothers. So we have a lot of interest in what happens in our community as well, especially when it involves our kids and our grandkids. And I cannot see anyone that can approve of this kind of activity. And I know we're always being accused of putting out the negative because it affects everybody. It puts a negative light on people. You know what? Come on with that. Really? It's like, grow up, get off the frickin' tinfoil hat stuff. Because, let's be honest, when something like this does happen, it makes everybody freaking bad in the citizen's eyes. And you got, it's like taking one step forward, and then this something like this happens, you're looking at ten steps back. But it's a very interesting type of mentality that we have Everybody wants to go against the man. I get it. Boy, do I get it. But at what point do you have to say, you know what? No, that's not what's happening here. That's not cool. You're pushing this poison out in the community, and it's getting in the hands of literal kids. One of the biggest user groups for meth is those from age 25 to 44. And yes, under. 25. That's why it's so dangerous. It's addictive real quick. It's like crack, literally, but it's the cheap man's crack. And it gets the hand in the hands of kids. You have to think to yourself, could this get into its uh make its way into my kids? And then to learn that it was delivered by so-called bikers. It becomes a sticky situation there. What am I talking about? Fox59.com, 15 members of Evansville Motorcycle Club sentenced to 100 years, 100 plus years, in federal prison. Again, I don't know if they're all members or not. That's just the way media puts it. You know, somebody can be associate and they're still a member, according to them. 15 members of the Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club have been sentenced to a combined total of 155 years in federal prison for distributing methamphetamine. The large-scale drug operation was based in Evansville, with the regulators identified by the U.S. Department of Justice as 42-year-old Gary Forston and 45-year-old Jason Kyle Wilson. The DOJ said Central Home and uh, 
of Owensboro, Kentucky, provided the majority of methamphetamine for the operation. Forston and Wilson worked to supply mid- and low-level deal uh, distributors with controlled substances. The way they're putting it right there, and again, I don't know all the case. I know what it's being said in this article. I'm not going to even try to tell you I know everything about this case. I know when it happened. We covered it a little bit. And now this is the outcome of it. But I have to ask yourself, what do you feel, even if you're in a club, about this type of thing happening? How would you want to feel living in Evansville knowing that there was a major drug ring happening? 155 years, that was for everybody involved. A lot of stuff there. Because, again, methamphetamines, really bad drug. And I always said, I don't get it, man. Why do you need more than freaking weed? But that's just me, man. That's just me. I wanted to look at this right here. Fentanyl, there's 71,238 deaths. From meth, there was 32,856 overdose. Overdose. And with the meth and the way fentanyl is in society right now, I would have to, you know, you're looking at a big, big number. And that was an increase over 2020, because uh, 2020 they had 24,000, and then fentanyl they had 57. So when you mix them uh, two potent boys together, you're getting something right there. And that's why, let's just continue, well, I'll give you more. Uh, it began in at least 2018. The drug trafficking ring was under investigation starting in 2019 when Wilson was arrested and charged with armed dealing of meth in Evansville. Now, according to this, Holman distributor an estimated 50 pounds, 50 pounds of methamphetamine to members of the conspiracy in 2018 and 30 pounds in 2019, and investigators identified the Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club on East Diamond Ave in Evansville as one of the many locations where the group would distribute illicit drugs and receive money. Uh, they also got 20,000 uh, or 20 firearms, 10,000. See here. The operation was responsible for distributing over 80 pounds of meth within the Southern District of Indiana. For one, I never thought that, uh, you know, you crap in your backyard, you never got to do that kind of stuff out of a clubhouse. But at the same time, you know, playing the devil advocate role here, doesn't this make everybody look bad? Let's just be honest. Does this make everybody in a club look bad? Because you got people out there that cry and whine. Oh, we're shedding light on all the negative. Yeah, there's a lot of positive in this, this scene. A lot of positive. But there's also situations that you got to stand back, look in the mirror, and say to yourself, is this acceptable? Especially if you're a parent or grandparent. Because nobody wants their kids to get hurt. Nobody wants them to get hooked on this stuff. And if you have people out there trying to uh, portray the positive, but then you got all this negative happening within the clubs on the front page news, it's something you have to look at. You got to, you know, have some self-reflection about what is acceptable and what is not. Now, it seems like it was the 15 people, and the club has a lot more people, so it don't make them the criminals. But what did they know, and did they try to stop it? And I think that's where I'm getting at, is MCs actually policing themselves. Do they know this kind of activity is going on, and do they take steps to get rid of it? Because let's face it, with Rico... And with sentences like this, nobody wants to get involved in that. And I always said, well, you know, people, they stand behind a brother. 
Is he really a brother when he pushes that kind of crap? And next thing you know, you got law enforcement on your front door? Was he a brother when he was thinking about going on the street and selling this poison? And then he brings it to you, and you didn't even do nothing. And then people wonder why the term gang is thrown at clubs all the time is because this is allowed and it's not stopped. Just a lot of stuff to think about. Just think about it. You know, play devil's advocate at some point and put all the biases of we're going to defend the club 1,000%. Or stop worrying about, oh, you know, the negative, negative. You got to confront the negative and, and, to make things better. Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to join the members only. Rock on. Join the Insane Throttles Members Only Club. Two ways to join over on Spotify and YouTube. Insane Throttle Biker News' channel, by the way. With your membership, you get exclusive content Monday through Friday. China Doll's on there with me. Y'all love China Doll. Also, you get an invite to the yearly Rumble in the woods where we get together have parties have fun so make sure you join the insane throttles members only club over on spotify or youtube rock on Say goodbye vamoose adios ciao so long get your hat jack number one internet biker radio show is now available on spotify and all major platforms including ir radio itunes stitcher and more don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode.